Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Mirrorverse video. Now I'm excited for this, and I really wanted to focus on one thing in this video. Now, this game is coming out soon, I do believe. I haven't got an official date for the global launch yet. As soon as I do, I'll make a video explaining everything for you. But I wanted to jump in today and show you two of the most important things you can do in this game. Now, of course, num number one, this isn't, this isn't counting, this is an obvious one, is use your stamina, that's pretty obvious. But apart from that, there's a few things that you should be doing every single day. I want to prep you guys ready when this game comes out, so this is fresh in your mind. So in the bazaar, you can grab two things up here each time. And of course, it is quite nice to actually buy some of, like the, um, some of the other bits and pieces in here as well to sort of help you fly through the game um, as well with like the XP and things like that. But the most important thing you can do in here is do your free... Ref refreshes and get that top left one and then it refreshes i think every like three four hours ish this will refresh so you can keep grabbing loads of free stuff in there so that's a really good way to do it and like of course it's sometimes it is worth buying some of these xp pots and stamina pots and things like that but the most important thing you can do is grab that top left one every few hours it refreshes just to get free money sometimes they put in this crystals as well but it's really good so there's some free money there for you featured is of course where you come in and actually buy the crystals that you want to use that would be incredible if i actually got an aerial from there but i don't like to do these ones with the extra cost i miles prefer just doing 181 because that way you get loads of different heroes and you can kind of challenge yourself to work on some different characters which i think is very very important so there's that. We do have five crystals to open, but before I do that, let's get on to number two. So this might be the most important thing in this game. So even if you're not a hardcore player on this game, maybe you only play it once every couple of days, the most important thing you can do are these crystals here. Now, I have twice got a four-star hero from these crystals. Now, that sounds a little bit mental, I know, but if I show you the characters I got, you'd be blown away. I managed to get Mr. Incredible to 3 stars. Sorry, that isn't a 4 star hero. But I managed to get Mr. Incredible on 3 stars. And Mr. Incredible is a ridiculous character, as most of you should know. So now I've also got Mickey Mouse up to level 37. And I just bought a load of XP in here, which has allowed me to get Ariel up another level. And Ariel is one of the top tier characters at the moment. So there's a nice little push up of my main characters there. So I got Mr. Incredible. And he's one of the best tanks in the game from the 12 hour crystal. And I also got, this is what I got the other day. I got Gaston as well from the 12 hour crystal. And I also got Captain Hook from the 12 hour crystal. So I was able to get a few four star characters. Now I'm not hugely sure how good Captain Hook is, but um, let's have a look at his special. Captain Hook's basic attack have a 10% chance to purge one buff from my enemy, that's pretty good. The chance to purge one buff increases 5% each basic attack and it stacks to 35 percent that's pretty high so you are basically going to end up removing a buff captain Hook's basic attack oh that's when you upgrade it okay so that is actually pretty good his special ability he deals four hits totaling 300 percent damage and 50 knockback pretty decent an additional 300 percent is dealt if the enemy is marked if the if this defeats an enemy captain Hook gains a buff and he just looks mad look at him he's got his crocodile like top on as well madness and his core ability, when Captain Hook attacks an enemy without armor or lure, he applies a mark. Only one enemy can be marked at a time, so obviously with Captain Hook, you want to prioritize that marked enemy to get that 600% attack. So that's pretty good. So I got Captain Hook from the crystal, and like I said, I also got Gaston. So obviously it's very important in this game to get characters up to 4 stars, because then you unlock their signature ability. When Gaston damages an enemy below 30%, he gains a 30% attack buff for 5 seconds. That's pretty ridiculous and obviously the more you level it up the more the attack does but obviously it is quite a process on actually leveling up these skills here as you can see but yeah that's ridiculous so you can see those two four star characters i have there so this is the thing i'm getting a bit annoyed at, at the moment is obviously i haven't unlocked mr incredible's four star move yet so i haven't got his skill here whenever mr incredible uses his ability after unstoppable justice expires he deals 100 damage and inflicts kinetic knockback to all enemies so that's pretty ridiculous when an enemy afflicted with kinetic knockback clives with another enemy they do more damage so it gives them a bit of like a ground pound move which is going to hit everybody and of course i have the same issue with ariel at the moment where i haven't got her four star ability 
So Aerial Special Ability cleanses one damage and debuff from all allies. So if any ally has anything to do with a damage and debuff and it's wiped, which is mad, then grants a 5% attack buff for 30 seconds to all allies. That's very, very good. Now, it's not huge, but all allies are getting it and it's just off a normal move, which makes that very, very good. So there's a few things you need to take note and take home for when you play this game. So let me just summarize. Number one, obviously, you need to be using your stamina every single day. Now, these are only quick hits here. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of details about the tower, the events, the dungeons. These, this is for people who just want to jump on and make the most of it and then maybe spend like one day a week focusing on playing, which is what I've been doing at the moment and it has been working quite nicely. So it's quite a passive way to kind of level up in this game. So all I've been doing is pushing play, going in and picking the character I want to work on, which of course is Mickey Mouse. So I entered the support character and you can see that I've already cleared this one yet because I haven't been able to win two out of three yet. And I, oh, let's try it again. Now I've upgraded my characters a little bit here and see where we can get to. You know what? It might be a bad idea, but I might put two healers in. So I might take Maleficent off. I'll put two healers in, right? And then I'll play as Ariel. So I'm just going to try and keep Ariel alive through the thick of it. And let's see, this might not work, but it didn't work when I was using Maleficent. So let's go here. And Belle was one of my favorite characters when I first started playing. But of course, then they released Mickey Mouse. And the reason I like Belle is because you, you get that really nice push at the start where you get a defense debuff, which is really, really useful. So I do kind of recommend that to everybody. So I've managed to get through this one without actually using a single special, which is nice. So I was able to absolutely fly through this, which means hopefully I can push through a few more of these ones to get. Oh, Belle was going mental there. Okay, so we've got the defense buff straight away. So I want to use her special straight away there to stop. So if you time that right, it's always nice because what it allows is it stops someone using their special, which is very, very important. So I'm going to wait a little bit before I use Mickey Mouse's special here. Um, just because... Oh, I didn't realize how low Ariel's health was. There we go. And then swipe. Then I use Bell special as well. So now Ariel's going to get a double heal in. So her health should fly up. Yes, yeah, so it's gone about halfway now. I wasn't really paying attention, which was um, bad by me there. Because Ariel did lose quite a bit of health there. Because I was, I was looking at the wrong person's health like an idiot. Okay, so I'm going to use Mickey Mouse immediately to get that healing starting back on Ariel. And I think what should be nice is I've got a free stack yet. And then let's use Bell Special as well. Let's use Ariel there. Wait. Use another heal there. Get Ariel healed up. Use another heal there. So the healing is going nicely here. And it's nice. I'm trying to take a few enemies off of me. Just uh, off of Ariel so I can prioritize some damage on myself. Oh, Ariel's going down. No, she died. That was so close as well. That was so close. So I am going to have to level up a little bit more before I go through this. But basically, my main point for you here, that's probably my fault because I didn't heal at the start. But you know, my main point for you here is that the, the most vital thing you can do every single day to progress in this game, because the progression is quite difficult in this game. You don't fly, which I'm not actually hugely annoyed about. So what I do is go into here and I'll do the highest one up I can like that. Because at the end of the day, you never want to have max energy in this game. So there we go. So I do that, spend my energy, and then I'll go into the next character I'm working on, which is Mr. Incredible, and then I'll use that. And then that's basically me done for the morning. So when I have my like mid-morning toilet break at work, <laughs> I'll jump in and do the same thing. So that clears that. So then when that's done, I come off, I go into the um, store, I go into the bazaar, I buy, refresh, buy. Then I come out of there and then I make sure my time crystal's done. And those are the three biggest things that you can do every day. So you, it literally takes two minutes. You load the game up, raid the supplies to upgrade your heroes, make sure your crystal's craft in your 12 hour one and refresh the storm by a couple of things. Those are the top three things for 
like I say, almost like a passive, like just a passive progression. You're, you're not wait, you're not spending like six hours a day on the game. It's a quick in, out. You're not going to be making so much progression in the game, ready for when you do sit down and have that proper session. You should just be able to fly through. So there we go. A lot of you are asking me what I've been doing on this game at the moment. Those are the steps I've been taking. Just because the one thing I want to work on at the moment is getting Mickey Mouse to level 40 and then following with Ariel Mr. Incredible. So I feel like when I get Mickey Mouse to 40 and Ariel to 40, we should be able to push those other levels, making it a lot easier to bring up all of my other characters. So yeah, there we go. So I'm going to get him up to 40. And when I, I, I see, I don't know what happens when you get a character up to 40. So I'm excited to see that. And then I can start to work on trying to break Mickey Mouse up to 50. I, I'm basically going to get him to the next XP potion, then get Mr. Incredible, then get Ariel, then get Maleficent. So that's kind of the way I'm working at the moment. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Just a couple of little tips for you there. You guys are all the best. Smash that like and subscribe button and comment down below who you're excited to see added to Mirrorverse.